Otherwise, today we will learn about SQL Server New ID function. It is a system function that is used to generate a random unique value of type unique identifier. So if we have any requirement to generate a random unique values, then we can use new ID function. Here is a syntax for new ID function. It does not require any input parameter. So we can simply use it like this. The return type of new ID function is unique identifier. Unique identifier is a Microsoft SQL Server data type that is used to store globally unique identifiers and it can store 16 byte of data the valid format generated by new id function of type unique identifier is this and where x is a hexadecimal digit in the in the range between 0 to 9 or a to f so whatever the value will be generated by new id function will be in this format so let's take an example here we have a new id function I'm just going to select it. So let's see what it returns. And here you can see it returns a random unique value of type unique identifier. You can match this this format with this valid format, where x will be between 0 to 9 or a to f. If I execute this query again, it will generate a random unique value again. So every time I execute it, it returns a different unique random values of type unique identifier. So in this way, we can use new ID function, new ID function to generate an random unique values. So let's see. Here I'm executing it again and again, and every time it returns a different unique values of type unique identifier. So in this way, we can use new ID function. And if we want to store the new ID function value to any variable, then we have to take variable type as unique identifier here i'm taking one variable unique well then i have to write variable type as unique identifier so then only i can store the value generated by new ID function to this variable like this so now I can select it. So let's execute this query. And here you can see. Now the variable is returning a random unique value of type unique identifier. So, so to store the value generated by new ID function to any variable, variable type should be unique identifier. Otherwise it will not return any value and will give an error. See, every time it is giving a random unique value of type unique identifier. So let's take one more example. Suppose I don't want to see my output in this pattern. I want a random unique integer. So I can also convert the output of new ID function into an integer value. So for this, I have to use a cast function. In this way, cast first I will convert this output into a where binary format then again I will cast it into an integer like this so you can see it returns an integer value but in this way it is not sure that it will return a positive value again and again it may return positive and negative value as well so as per the requirement c this time it is returning negative so every time it returns the integer value but not sure whether it will return negative or positive see this time it, it is returning negative value again negative now this time positive so we have converted the output of new id function into integer type and if we want to make it the positive to return positive value again and again then we can use absolute here so it will return only positive integer value and value will be a unique see this time it will return positive integer value and value will be a different see so in this way we can convert 
the random unique value generated by new ID function of type unique identifier to integer. Let's take one more example. Now this time I'm going to use to store new ID function value into a table. So let's we have a table. Let's create a table. Create table y serial number. I'm going to make serial number column as in unique identifier. So we can store the unique identifier value in this column. So I have to take its type like this. Not null and default value will be new ID. Let's take one more example name column name where care of type 50. So we have created table table name it is saying table y already exists. So let's take example E and execute. So here is the table created on the serial number column we have created a unique identifier column so the value for this column will be generated by a new id function and of type unique identifier so let's see insert into table e now insert into table e values i'm not giving value for serial number i'm just giving value for name column any random value let's say jack and execute it because for column serial number the value will be given by a new id function of type unique identifier so let's execute okay here i have to pass the column name because we have an, an, an auto generated value on the serial number column so we have to mention here Yes, here we are going to provide value for the name column. So let's execute this query and you can see one row is affected. Let's quickly check the value for the serial number column. So let us start from E and you can see for the serial number column, a random unique value is generated by new ID function of type unique identifier. If I execute the same query again, here you can see one more row is inserted and the value is here so in this way we can use a new id function to generate a random unique values for any table column and we can use it for as per our requirement hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video kindly do subscribe the channel for getting the latest video update on sql server tutorial thanks for watching the video